Hey, it's Carol, the owner of Crystals and Chai. Welcome to my podcast and YouTube channel. I would say that there are many ways to cleanse and protect at the same time, and but they may be done differently depending on how you need to cleanse yourself. In my last episode, I had said I'd be making a video for YouTube that would coincide with these episodes, and I will be. I'm also realizing that they won't be recording at the same time just because I will be showing different things on camera versus just my voice and I'm just going to show the YouTube people like um like here's my selenite here's my labradorite and I do have the link to my YouTube in the description below so you won't miss out either if you're on li when you're listening you know what I mean <laughs> and full disclosure I do mention that there are some things that require fire please follow fire safety at all times when using fire in the disclosure and on with the episode as I'm making the dialogue for these episodes I keep thinking of more and more things so Here's what I have, and I may do another episode later. Let me know what you think in the comments, what you think. And here we go. So the first is selenite. It's a very versatile crystal. It cleanses itself, other stones, and you. It's really, really, it filters. I meditate, and I use it by putting it on myself as I meditate and I ask my spirit guides to cleanse and charge my energy. I also use selenite to cleanse my space as I'm um, cleansing for clients and my energy videos. So as I was saying before, this is the selenite that I personally use right now. I also have some selenite slabs and for charging I will put like so here's some shungite and some malachite and I put these in there and they will charge as I'm as they're just sitting there you don't have to do anything they're just sitting there it's pretty cool jewelry and stones so I keep my energy cleansed and protected by wearing certain stones I wear selenite jewelry and I wear hematite for negative energy to keep it away. And this is the selenite that I wear for my jewelry. And then I have some other bracelets that I use. And so the seven, so on my podcast, this may sound a little choppy and I apologize. I'm just trying to do both of them at the same time. So <laughs> I'm trying to figure it all out. Stay with me. I will figure it out. But I made these uh, seven protectors, which are shungite, black tourmaline, bronzite, labradorite, fluorite, citrine, and hematite. If you're seeing this on YouTube, hang on, I will pause the podcast. So... The seven protectors, I don't have the full crystals of all these, or I would show you individual crystals. But basically, like this one is my labradorite and the fluorite clear crystal and the hematite. The shungite, I have a little one of that that I showed you with the selenite. And then the labradorite. So... If you want me to do different videos on these, let me know and I will go ahead and do that. So, pause for a little ad. I want to make a I want to take a little bit to say I'm not at the point of making money with Spotify yet or YouTube for that matter. It is May 23rd, 2024. So if you are enjoying this, please rate my podcast wherever you're listening and share this to other listeners so that my, and if you'd like to support my podcast, my link tree is in the description below, not required, but appreciated. I'd be grateful if you'd rate and share though, and interact as 
interacting is even better and for my uh, YouTube if you want to subscribe like share that would be fantastic on with the episode and thank you for listening so the third one I have is herbs I use Palo Santo and sage I use incense sticks and bundles of sage and I've done videos of this on TikTok and YouTube I also use sage to cleanse myself and my crystals. I live in a fifth wheel, so Palo Santo, which doesn't stay lit like sage, I tend to use that more. I even have the white sage and Palo Santo hand soap because I love Bath and Body Works. <laughs> I buy my Palo Santo and sage from my local crystal shop. Cleansing your home can also really make a big difference for you and your energy. And the fourth is cleansing baths and cleansing sal with cleansing salts. I don't have a bathtub. I do have a shower and a foot soaker. I use my witchy herbs and other herbs along with bath salts to cleanse. You can get some of the herbs and salts on Etsy or wherever you get. You can look it up and find different herbs or your local grocery store or even herbal store. Many different nowadays. There's so many different ways to get your herbs. And then when I do, when I did have a bathtub, I would take the salts and I would also do the herbs and put them in the bathtub and I'd ask my spirit tribe to release the energies from me. And that's something how I do. You may have your own way. And if you do, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, I also use clove, cinnamon, and Himalayan salts and other various salts. It could even be Epsom salts. It's whatever you have on hand, and it's not quite that important that in that way. It's more of the intention. Number five is I walk in nature with your shoes off. If we all walked in nature, if we all walked in nature, we would have a much peaceful world. I can tell you that. Mother Earth recharges, cleanses, and protects. And nature's Mother Nature, nature walks are so therapeutic. You just take time, you sit down, you cleanse, you're in the moment, you get in your heart chakra filled, and it's just beautiful. And number six, and the last one, I light a candle. I usually light a candle and ask to be cleansed. I light a candle almost every morning. I have a witchy ritual every morning. This recharges me. I have my selenite holder and cleanses and protects as I use a white candle which cleanses my energy. This is what I use. It's selenite and some, and I have my little candle in there. Sometimes if, if my one is a little bit full, I will put like, put them on here. Not with a lid, of course. But yeah, I will sometimes just put it on here. But this is my little ritual candle holder. The candle part I really love because fire and what fire does, it like kind of burns the energies that no longer serve you, so to speak. So the, I like the fire. I like the scent, Palo Santo and Sage. All of that fun stuff. I would also say, I mentioned a little bit ago, intention. Intention is a very important thing. What are you, what are you doing all the things to, when you're, when you're doing all the things to protect you, your intention is important and along with cleansing and protecting yourself. Because like, what is your intention of protecting? Are you protecting all of everything? Like for me, I protect myself, I protect my home, I do all that. And also it's cleansing and protecting are they are and they aren't the same cuz anyway, I'm going to be getting into the protecting into the next episode and I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> As an empathic person, I do all that I can do to protect and cleanse and recharge. And being an empath can be exhausting at times, and that's why you need to recharge and cleanse your energy. It's very important. And that concludes this episode.
for crystals and chai products and services and my social medias the link is in the description below if you have any questions or want to connect with me you can either comment on this episode or email me at crystalsandchaihealing at gmail.com please like share subscribe comment all the things please and until next time thank you for your time love and light carol <laughs>